guys, welcome back to the Coca-Cola Light NASCAR Cup Series. This is Season 3, Race Number 4. We're at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coca-Cola 600. But before we get started, let's look at your ones to watch. On the pole is Matthew Benedetto, coming out for him on his number 21 Mustang. William Byron, he is our last time's winner at this track. Coming out for him on his number 24 Chevrolet. Brad Keselowski, looking for a good run today, coming out for him on his number two Mustang. Mike McDowell, he was the fastest in practice, coming out for him on his number 34 Mustang. Ryan Newman, he's starting on the front row again, coming out for him on his number six Mustang. And last but not least is Martin Tricks Jr. He's looking for redemption after what happened last week and after what happened the last time they raced on this track, coming out for him on his number 19 Toyota Cam. And here today to give the command, please welcome Rice's Sports and Plushies. Coca Cola Light Cup NASCAR Cup Series. Driver, Star, Door, and Jays! Thank you, Rice's Sports and Plushies. Now for your starting lineup in row one, it's Matt DeBenedetto and the Rockin' Man, Ryan Newman. Row two. It's Mike McDowell and Chris Busher. Row 3. It's Eric Amaroli, Eric Amarola, and Alex Bowman, the showman. Row number 4. It's Season 1 champ Jimmy Johnson and happy, happy, happy holiday, Kevin Hoffman. Row 5. It's Junebug, Dale and Jr., and Ryan Inside Laney, Ryan Blaney. Row 6. It's Cold Custer Cream, Cold Custer, and Bruins, Martin Trix Jr. In row 7, it's Kyle Bush and Chase Eliante, Chase Elliott. Next up, it's Matt Kansas, Matt Kansas, and Double Wallace, Double Wallace. In row 9, Willie B, William Byron, and go, go, the guy no, Joe the guy. In row 10, it's Kurt Busch and that Jones boy, Eric Jones. In row 11, it's Clint Boyer and Burr Keselowski. Rounding up the field in row 12, it's Denny Hamilton, Denny Hamilton, and the ace, Austin Dillon. Here's your race info. Eight laps, stage one will end on lap four, 24 cars, two races left before the playoff cutoff. Green flag is waving, and the Coca-Cola 600 is going green. Matt DeBez is going to lead him down. Oh, he gets loose. He saves it. Now he's in the sucker hole. Now Ryan Newman is going to lead this race. Oh, Legato's in the wall. Oh, looks like he only just kissed it. Nothing serious. Ryan Newman's still in the lead. Two laps to go for stage one. One more with Ryan Newman. That first portion. Newman's still leading. Three wide for six. Newman's going to lead with the white flag for stage one. Oh, Joey Legano's got a tire down. That's going to bring out the caution. Joey Legano stays out of trouble. He's going to go to pit road. And he's going to be able to continue. Get some fresh good years. Ryan Newman, he's a stage one winner. Five points for him. Three points for Chris Bush and one point for Jimmy Johnson. We're ready to start lap five out of eight. Green flies waving once again. Oh, God, they between the leaders. They get loose. They save it. Oh, my goodness. The big one happens at Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. Multiple cars involved. Let's look at the replay. Oh, Ryan and Chris Bush make contact right there. They get loose. They try to save it. They made contact with Michael McDowell, and then everybody else is just trying to make their way out of this wreck. But, man, William Byron, boy, did he got out of that one. Whew. Let's look at that one more time in real time. Oh, my gosh. Michael McDowell, Chris Bush, Alex Bowen, Kurt Bush, Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick, and Eric Morella, they're not going to be able to continue today. Ryan Blaine and Matt DeBedale are going to get some repairs. Kyle Bush, man, boy, he took a punch in the face. And I guess he has enough blood for that car to finish. We're going to go to pit road now. Ryan Newman, Dale Jr., William Byron are in. Chase Sully, Denny Hamlin are in. Eric Jones comes in. we got some cars coming out now. Martrix Jr. is out. Jimmy Johnson, Bubba Wallace. 
And Martrix Jr. is going to win the pivotal race. We shall see how these two laps end up. We're going to go overtime lap 8 out of 9. Green flags waving. Two laps to go. Trace is going to lead him down. Hamlin, his teammate, on the outside. Hamlin trying to fight back on the exit of 2. Hamlin, side by side with Truex. Here comes Johnson, threading the needle. He makes contact with Hamlin. Now he's in the lead. White flag, one left to go. But we got to spin in the back. And the caution will not come out as the Truex loses with Johnson. So once again, what is Truex down in the sleep with Johnson? Well, we just lose him. He's caught with Johnson. They're both at the wall. Here they come to the line. William Byron wins it at Charlotte. Back to back Charlotte races. Let's look at that replay. Truex and Denny Hamlin both restarted in the front row. Truex, yes, he is a winner in this series, but Denny Hamlin never won a race in this series. The closest he has gotten was a third place finish at the season to Martinsville race. But look at Jimmy Johnson making this three wide pass for the lead. Makes contact with Denny Hamlin for the assist to get grip on turn four. Now he's leading them to the white flag. And here's that spin from the back. Jordan Gallon trying to make a move on the 20. The 20 tried to block, but he wasn't clear. So they both spun out. But the caution did not come out. And look at this. It's episode number five of the Truex vs. Johnson show right here. Truex tried to make a move on Jimmy, but he got loose. Makes contact with Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson got loose and then came back up to Truex. Both of them in the wall. William Byron slipped by to take the win in the exact same scheme he used a season ago. William Byron wins the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte for his second career win. All right, now let's look at your official results. William Byron first, Denny Hamlin in second, Fred Kozlowski in third, Bubba Wallace in fourth, Jimmy Johnson in fifth, Chase Elliott in sixth, Martin Trix Jr. in seventh, Dale Nord Jr. in eighth, Ryan Newman in ninth, Cole Coster in tenth, and Brad Kozlowski, he said he wanted a good day today. He did that so with a third place finish. Kyle Busch in eleventh. Man, Kyle Busch went from sixteenth to eleventh with a damaged car, man, that car did have enough blood. Austin Dillon in 12th, Matt DeBetta down in 13th, Brian Blaine in 14th, Jordan Allen in 15th, Eric Jones in 16th, Mike McDowell in 17th, Alex Cole in 18th, Kurt Porsche in 19th, and Clint Boyer in 20th. Chris Porsche in 21st, Eric Amarola in 22nd, Kevin Harvick in 23rd, and Matt Kenseth in 24th. Alright, now let's look at your point standings. William Byron, Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvey, Nines Corner are locked into the playoffs. Jimmy Johnson with 82 points, Dale Nair Jr. with 70 points, Chase Elliott with 69 points, Cole Custer with 68 points, Cole Wallace with 64 points, and Martin Tricks Jr. rounds up the top 10 with 60 points. Those drivers, they can still make it by points with one race left to go. Danny Hamlin with 59 points, Ryan Blaney with 57 points. Ryan Blaney entering this race, he was tied with William Byron for that 8th place spot. Now he's back at 12. Ryan Newman with 56 points. Brad Kasowski with 53 points. Jordan Gallon with 51 points. Kyle Bush with 44 points. He's probably the last driver that can still make it by points. Anything can happen in the next one. Beckham Morrell with 43 points. Matt Bedell with 41. Austin Bell with 38. And Chris Bush with 30. Eric Jones with 25 points. Kurt Bush with 25 points as well. And Clint Boyer with 16 points. Those three are in a must win situation. And congratulations to Hendrick Fan 24 7. Alright, guys, that wraps up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you later, goodbye, and tune to you next time for the regular season championship at Phoenix, Arizona.